In today's video, I'm going to share with you the best blue bags for spring, according to Parse Blog. Blue is a versatile color that can work with any outfit and can add a pop of color to your wardrobe. From vibrant to soft pastels on this list, there is something for everyone. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the best blue bags for spring. <music> The first one I'm going to share with you is this Saint Laurent Cassandra shoulder bag. Retails for $33.50. Looks like it has a mix of like a suede, velvety texture and leather, which is nice. Antique gold hardware. I am familiar with this style. Y'all know I have the style that had the pony hair, which I wasn't too big of a fan of because it rubbed away after a bit. But this one looks nice. It doesn't have any pony hair, anything, any sided hairs, anything like that. So I do love the quality. I do think. They are sorely overpriced, but for the quality of their leather compared to other brands that are more expensive, I feel like they have a right to charge more, but hey, that's just me. So gorgeous hue though. I love this darker royal blue. Next, we have the Alexa bag from Mulberry. This retails for $14.95. I do love this one. I love this shade of blue. It's one of my favorite shades of blue actually. And it does have, let's see if I can click it. Oh, we can click it and look at more views. I'm sorry, but this is what that one looks like. You can wear this one crossbody as well. It has a nice top handle, silver hardware, a large interior space, which is nice, a slit pocket on the inside, and you can widen it out as you see, or you can cinch it in on the sides. If you need less or more room, the strap, longer strap is removable in case you want to wear a top handle, which is nice. So would I buy the Cassandra? Probably not just because I don't really have to have a mix of leather and sweat arm and velvet. And then the price point is a bit ugh for me mm. for something I really don't want. For the Alexa, I feel like it's a great price point. It's something I would add because I feel like maybe I wouldn't add that style for Marlboro. I'm still stuck on the little softy, but I really like this one way more than the Sun Laurent version. So it's a yes for me. Next, we have the Loewe puzzle bag. Free for 3,300. Now your girl wants to have any familiarity I can never say the word. I don't know why I try to do it. I don't have any familiar. I don't have any familiarity. I don't have any familiarity. I think that's right. With Loewe's leather, but this one is in scuba blue. But I have heard the quality is outstanding. So y'all know how I feel about the puzzle bag. I'm much more of a fan of the east to west version. Although I did try it on, I wasn't really a fan of it still because. This bag is really popular because it's a, a staple. I feel like because it's a classic, because it's super cute. Actually, I do like the puzzle bag. I love how she's wearing it. Okay, I completely changed my mind. I really like that. And I don't mind the thicker strap either. Oh, there's a chain too? Okay, yes, 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 yes. All around yes for me. Next on the list, we have this bag from The Row. It's the Margot 15 Satchel. Retails for $40.90. Oh my God, they are taxing you. Mary Kay and Ashley, ooh. They doing the damn thing. They making their money, okay? I can't, I can't fault them for that. I can't, I can't hate on that, okay? And it's a, it's a huge, okay, for the price you're paying. And I've heard the quality is great too. The entire thing is suede too, which is nice. That's a double top handle. I feel like this would make a great travel bag too. Roomy interior, feet on the bottom. Yeah, it's a pretty big size. I mean, I feel like it's a yes for me. I might be slightly biased because I do semi like Mary Kay and Ashley still. I really love them growing up, their books and everything. I think it's a great price point for the size of it. So a beautiful hue of royalty. Yeah. I love it. Next, we have the Bottega Veneta Teen Jody for 3500 on the list. And it's in that windswept color that I talked about in my personal favorite blue designer bag video, which I'll link for you. And I love this shade. I'm not necessarily a fan of the Teen Jody in this personal preface because I don't like bigger designer bags, but nonetheless, it works for a lot of people. A lot of people don't like the mini Jody, just like I do, because of the, you know, the limits to the storage capacity and all of that. So I understand. But this one's bigger, it's more realistic for a lot of other people. So for that reason, I'll give it a yes. Next, we have the Valentino Loco shoulder bag. I don't typically like their bags that have the V on it. I just don't. It's just personal preference. I mean, I just don't like that logo, but I do love this shade of blue. I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful against the gold hardware. The longer chain and everything, the boxy structure, the size of it is nice too. Y'all know your girl likes a smaller bag. I love the wide open space. The fact that it doesn't have a desire, uh, divider down the middle. The fact that this chain opens, it has an opening right there. Okay. 
I don't know if that'd be an annoyance or helpful though, because I don't know if it comes apart easily, but she's wearing that bag. She wearing it, okay? So because I don't really like the bags that have this logo, I'm gonna give it a no, but because I like the color of it, I'm gonna give it a yes. So I'm kind of like an in-between. No, yes. A lot of people like it though. The color is really nice though. And it's unique. I haven't seen it a lot of places. Also, if you've been enjoying this video, please like it and subscribe for more luxury content. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any designer bag videos such as this one. Next, we have the Gucci Bamboo 1947 for 3700. Okay, this shade of blue, I'm a fan. I'm obsessed with. I think it's cute. I don't really like the bamboo. What? Uh, poor bags. I just don't, I don't know and not on this either. But I do love the color and everything. It has a twist lock closure at the front, also with the bamboo handle. Top handle, removable strap, has a utility strap, which y'all know how I feel. It also has a skinnier leather strap, which I would get more use out of for sure. Glad they give you options. So, although I'm not a fan of the bamboo because they give you options on how you can wear it, because it has the utility strap and the thinner leather strap, I'm gonna give it a yes because nobody wants to be just limited to one option. Next we have the Prada small padded soft nappa leather bag for 2,900. I love the puffing material. Y'all know how I feel about that. Am I a fan of this bag? No, I just think it looks, it looks like they just took some puffing material and just threw it back together. Some people might disagree with me on that. I'm just gonna tell it how I, see, how I see it and that's how I see it. You know, it has a longer strap and all of that. It's nice and roomy and that, you know, I like the color of it. That's about the only thing it has going for it, but it's a no for me. Also from Prada, we have the mini tote at a slightly lower price point. This is 2650. This is popular with a lot of people. It has a longer leather strap that's thinner, no utility. It's slightly structured, has an inner pocket and is wide open in the middle or whatever. I think it's cute. I think it's adorable. However, I don't feel like this style works for me personally, but because this particular structure and look doesn't really fit my style, my vibe, because I got rid of two bags that are similar styles, so no for me. Next, we have the Chanel Double Flat. It retails for 7205 based on the current price point of Chanel bags. I think it's a great deal-ish. You know, the color of it is beautiful. It's a medium double flat. This particular one is in excellent condition. It just has residue marks and print scratches marks. Okay, see, that turns me off. It turns me off. Okay, the color, while the color is nice, I still feel like 7,200 for this bag is ridiculous. That's my opinion, okay? Maybe the quality is better because it's older. Who knows? Next from Proenza Schuler. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Correct me if I'm not. I don't mind being corrected. This is the mini leather shoulder bag, 1290. And as you see, the 20% off applies at checkout. This is cute. I love the shape of this. I think it's a great price point too, and it's leather. The gold hardware against it is nice. It is quiet too, if you like minimal luxury. There's the logo and the inner flap, so you can't see anything until you open it. Although I probably wouldn't buy it for myself. I can't admire it, it's, it's cute. I don't know, it's something about that strap at the top that I don't necessarily like for myself. But because I think it's cute, I think some of y'all could rock it. It's a yes for me. This bag is from Kate and it's the Lilith bag. This is adorable. It's typically not the style I gravitate towards. However, if I were going out, this would be cute to wear. I love the velvet. I love the gold. I love how it has, what do you call it? The coin purse closure. I just made that up. It might be right. It might not. If it's right. Ooh, oh girl. I love the chain on the front or actually the handle that it has. This is adorable. It's 2200. It's suede tote. There's the logo. So it's pretty quiet. And it looks like it has a roomy interior that closes all the way. Now, I don't really like the limit having to wear it as a shoulder bag, having to wear it as a top handle-ish, you know, style. Because it doesn't have a longer strap, it's gonna be a no for me, but I do think it's cute for the right person. Next, we have a bag from Miu Miu. It's the mini top handle bag. And this retails for $26.50. This is way too boxy and rectangular for me. Yes, I love structured bags, but not this type of structure. It, kind of, it looks a little too masculine. I typically like masculine ish things, masculine fragrances, scents, you know, things like that, oversized things, but this ain't it. It's not for me. It ain't for me, no. Next from Bottega Veneta, we have the mini Kabat in that gorgeous windswept color. So if you like tote style bags, if the mini Jody, the teen Jody, the candy Jody does not work for you, check this one out. It's a tote style bag, double handle, very roomy. It comes with a pouch too, which is nice. That's your vibe. $5,000 though. Ooh, 
for a mini bag. I think that's a bit much, personally. Um, even though that leather is top notch, five thousand dollars for mini bag. That never is it for me. Is a no. You're not Hermes. I'm sorry. Moving on. This is the Gucci Blondie mini bag for thirty one hundred, and this is what it looks like. It does have a flap over closure. It has a longer strap gold hardware i'm not really a fan of the style of bag it does have a utility strap i love that it give you options come on and that's what it looks like this ain't it for me either. oh my god they limited it to space they got a divider y'all i got good nerve for taking an already mini bag and then like limiting people's space like this no 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 it's a no so there's a blue bag out there for everyone, for any budget and taste. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite or if there's any that I missed. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more luxury fashion content. And in case you enjoyed this one, I reviewed my personal opinions on my personal favorite blue bags for spring, summer. And you can check that video out here. Talk soon.